tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. Laundry, no sitting. But we're in the middle of our dry cycle. And we paid for the smoothie. I'm not a babysitter. Scram. <laughs> <laughs> but our towel is still wet. You have five minutes. What were you saying before we were so rudely interrupted? I was saying that I can't believe Alden isn't here. And how much he's been ignoring me for two weeks. And how Nina keeps sending him secret notes that make me want to puke. And what else? Something about shreds of food getting stuck in your braces and whether that's a total turnoff to a guy. Oh yeah, is there any papaya in there? Ugh, yep. Great, I, I bet Alden's walking through the door right now. Connor, please be my eyes. It's him, isn't it? No, it's... I don't know who it is. Cute? Very. A real hottie? Pretty much. The papaya! Hand me my mirror, will you? Wow. Look how she separates whites from darks. She? Hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, uh I, th I think our five minutes is up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you just walk out of here? It's very simple, really. One foot in front of the other. Her name's Tally. She just moved to Elkington Street. She's starting in our class tomorrow. Her parents have been divorced three months and they don't have a washing machine. Home phone, cell, pager, email, and fax. Oh. Oh. Thanks. <coughs> oh. Have you called her yet? What about email? <coughs> well, it's oh. obvious she's interested in you. Connor, you've got maybe one lap left to do the flirt back thing. And then Tally's gonna pack it in. You're both imagining things. Nobody's gonna flirt with someone who looks like me. What are you talking about? You're, you're adorable. Yeah, that. I am? <sighs> nice try. Alden, I guess you're doing your laundry at home these days. That's great! I don't get it. Around Connor, I feel like I'm wearing my most comfortable tennis shoes. Around Alden, it's like I'm in wobbly stiletto heels, about to fall over before I even take a step. All I'm saying is you need to attack this whole allergy thing from a new perspective. It's ruining your love life. I hate needles. Mom said no killing each other. 
Okay. Acupuncture is more about pressure points than it is about needles. They're so teeny you can hardly feel them. Hardly. That's the operative word here. Hardly is still something. So you're gonna spend the rest of your life covered in anti-everything cream. Blowing your nose on the half hour. Avoiding dust, pollen, and anything synthetic or living. Never to experience the joys of new love. Because you're afraid of some teensy-weensy needles. Maybe there's another way. You tried everything else. <sighs> okay. But only if you come with me. Oh, no, not me. I I'm afraid of needles. You're not afraid of anything. Seriously. You really want me right in the room with you? When she's sticking you like a pincushion? Yeah, right by my side, like a good friend should be. Let go of your hand now? Uh-huh. It doesn't hurt. As, as long as I don't see them. Where did the acupuncturist person go? She's just in the next room, checking on someone's chi. You need to lie here for a little bit so that the energy can start to flow in the right direction. Uh, it feels like my nose is draining. Uh, excellent. Really brave. I'm so proud of you. Could you turn up the nature sounds? Sure. <laughs> Weird. What's happening? Remember, relax. Hey, hey, what are you doing? It's okay. Everything's okay. I'm, I'm just making sure they're in there. In there? Yeah, so you really get better. Maybe you should call the acupuncturist. <sighs> Breathe. Hear the ocean tide crashing on the rocks. The birds chirping. Relax. It's as if you're floating in the clouds. I prayed that I had put all the needles back in the right spots. That I hadn't made things worse for Connor. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I feel the same. You don't feel all strange inside? No. Woo! So, do you think he'll show up today? Oh, please. Not another Alden lament. Well, where does he hang out if not here? This is the number one spot. What do you think he's doing in his spare time? Having a life? This is a life. And when we leave, we'll be wearing freshly laundered socks. Hey. Hey, what? Get out of my face, will ya? Still feeling a little tender. Jumpin' June jitterbugs! That's a cute one. Holy moly cow! Are you trying to tell me a knock-knock joke backwards? Connor? 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 What's with you? You look... You look, um... Sort of... Amazing. I mean it. Whoa. Hey, that's me? Hey, what happened to our other socks? What is this, a dryer conspiracy? I bet Bill has this thing rigged to some kind of suction tube in the back. You'll never know, will you, kitties? There's a law against this, mister. If you are the culprit, there are heavy fines for this kind of mischief. <laughs> I couldn't stop staring at Connor. Inside, I was having this strange chemical reaction. Like when you're on a super loop-de-loop -loop roller coaster and your stomach seems to jump into your mouth. You know what I'm talking about. The only other time I had that feeling was when I was with Alden. So this didn't make sense. This was Connor. My friend since forever. Could I actually be attracted to him? These things are tricky. You have to have just the right touch. <laughs> Which I guess you don't. <laughs> Maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs>
Please, that's so seventh grade. Oh, I think it's cute. When have you ever seen Connor so, so bursting with joy? His sixth birthday, when he got the advanced magician kit. I mean with the girl. I told you, acupuncture was the ticket. Look at him, he looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Tally isn't Connor's type. What are you talking about? You're the one who hooked them up. So, maybe I was wrong. But you told me she makes paper in her spare time and grows organic vegetables and is a Capricorn, just like Connor. Connor, don't forget about riding home together. We're buying new socks, right? <laughs> <laughs> You go on without me, cause Tally and I are going over to the secondhand bookstore on Gerard Street. But the dust in there is terrible. I'll risk it. Since the acupuncture, I've hardly been reacting to anything. Maybe you're taking on too much, too soon. No, I feel great. You and Maria were absolutely right about overcoming this allergy thing. It's changed how I feel about myself and the world around me. That's wonderful. And ever since Tally suggested I cut out dairy, I felt even better. Hey, I've been telling you to get off dairy for years. I couldn't believe it. It was now obvious that when I put all those needles back in Connor, I must have hit some major self-improvement meridian. This was good, right? So it was the most amazing, most incredible thing I ever saw. The kid was hanging from the high diving board like this with the pool beneath him. Except there was no water in it. So what happens? He falls, right? Let me finish. Then he falls, okay? Mom, Adam never lets me finish a story. And interrupting is rude. Sharon, what about your day? Yeah, dinner's great. <laughs> Watching Connor be so romantic and thoughtful made me see him in a whole new light. I'd never really thought about it, but these were excellent traits to have in a boyfriend. Ow! Heads up! A little late. Sorry! Hey, are you okay? It looked like it hurt. Tal, you're so thoughtful. Enough to make me sick, really. The neutralizing thing is really just about chemical reactions. Yeah. Cool. Kind of magical, isn't it? Uh, hey, Tally, have you got any extra acid? Here, we've got plenty. Well, if you need extra. Thanks. Uh, check this out. Connor's always been into science. Me too. Look at this. Well, of course. That's the acid neutralizing the indicator. I knew that was going to happen. You did? And did you know acid can have other effects, Sharon? It can eat through paper, or burn wood, or sear plastic. That's all true. It's very dangerous. Even a little bit can work its way through your clothes and then your flesh maiming you forever. Right, Connor? I guess. Well, what about that guy I was telling you about, Connor? The one who made that sodium hydroxide thing? Which guy? And it generated lots and lots of heat. Oh, yeah? Like enough to call the fire department? <laughs> like enough to cause a big, big explosion. <laughs> Wait up! What was that? What was what? Meow. I don't know what you're talking about. You, Connor, and this big thing you have for him ever since he got new and improved. Connor and me? Please. Well, my sentiments exactly, but if this is what I think it is, then you're being oh so superficial, I can't even believe it. Hello, you are way off. How could I like Connor like that? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I do like him like that. I don't know what's come over me. What's my problem? Am I totally superficial? Is that all it takes for me to like a guy? Good looks? How shallow can I get? Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's only one way to find out. We have to take this quiz in tender times. Ready? When you see a good-looking guy, do you A, whistle, B, ask to see his report card, C, stare long and hard, or D, all of the above? Um, C, stare long and hard. Unless they look back, and then you have to pretend you weren't looking in the first place. Mm. Okay, next. If you could take only one thing on a desert island, would it be A, a picture of your favorite movie star, B, a bag of potato chips, C, your makeup, or D, all of the above? How can all of the above be a choice? You can only take one thing. Oh, you're right. This quiz is obviously totally bogus. I was only reading this magazine because it had an article on triathlons. But I answered C to that first question. Maybe I'm on a complete downward spiral here. It's hard to tell. Let's look at the options. You're either being totally superficial or totally sincere. Which is it? I don't know. What if I'm being both? Cause look, whatever you're being is stressing Connor out. Maria was right. The last time I saw Connor break out in such a big rash was when someone hid Judy Farfel's gym bag in his locker and she accused him of stealing her dirty bra and underwear. He's probably had a crush on you since you were both in the playpen together. Really? You think so? What had I done? I thought I liked Connor more than just a friend now. I really did. But did I like him so much more that I would get in between him and a real live girlfriend? Hi. Hi. You're walking the beasts. You're mowing the lawn. Very brave. <coughs> Listen, uh, <coughs> we've been friends for a long time, right? I guess you're due for another acupuncture session, huh? And well, I'm going to stop going with Tally. It's just not going to work if you don't like her. I like Tally. I never said I didn't like Tally. But you see, you're way more important to me as a friend. I really have to walk these guys. A very, very close friend. Samson! Bigger! We gotta go! I mean, next to my mother, you're probably the most meaningful person in my life. I really need to go. These guys are getting totally antsy. So, uh, maybe we could go to the movies tonight. I finally got what I wanted. So why was I feeling so strange and mixed up? Sharon? Sure, that would be fun. Connor and I had seen about 62 movies together. Not including videos, but who's counting? We both knew this was different. This was a date. Oh, can you smell the germs out here and the fumes? Do you think they're going to interfere with my recovery? Couldn't say. Hey! And uh, none of that artificial butter. <laughs> oh, and if you could just line the popcorn bag with napkins, that'd be great. Oh, and if you have any bottled juices with no additives, uh, even better. <laughs> Connor, we better get seats. Have you made the title page yet for your chemistry assignment? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Suddenly, it felt like I was talking to Alden, but I didn't feel wobbly. I felt like I was in quicksand, sinking deeper and deeper. Uh, will you excuse me? I have to go to the bathroom. I'll just be up the street at my dad's office. What I normally would have said here was, Please. There are germs in private bathrooms, too. It's crazy. It's zany. It's twins who switch bodies. And nobody notices. <laughs> Somehow, when Connor and I were just friends, his quirks were just part of who he was. They were something to tease him about. But now that I was trying Connor on as a boyfriend, well, it changed everything. It was like we had to follow some invisible rules about how to be together. We couldn't joke the way we used to. We couldn't even be aggravated with each other. 
And I hate to admit this, but with no tally around, Connor wasn't so cool. Even if he was better looking. Before I ruined everything between us, I knew I had to either A, go back to being just friends with Connor, B, tell the acupuncturist to fix where I messed up, C, let Tally work her charm again, or D, all of the above. I can't wait for my next appointment. <laughs> Obviously, D was the only choice. You know, Con, private bathrooms have germs too. Old habits are hard to break, acupuncture or not. Connor? Uh-huh. Let's say we get out of here and do some laundry. I wore layers so we could do a double load. Me too. Uh, just in case the movie uh, didn't work out. <laughs> Being friends with Connor was my destiny. I finally got that. And luckily, he seemed to agree. Maybe things don't always have to change to get better. Maybe you just have to appreciate what you already have. I'm not sure if I just made that up or if I read it on a poster somewhere. Whatever, it feels real. Bye.